Hello everyone. So we are back with the video on EOS and uh, this is one of the most awaited one. We are going to talk about registering your EOS tokens uh, on EOS network. As uh, you know and if you are following our uh, group on Facebook and Investing with the Difference, we are very positive on EOS. We have uh, been recommending it uh, as a holder position uh, since it was uh, four dollars when we started in March, uh, but uh, personally with me and my friends uh, We have been buying this uh, since 50 cents today. We are at nine dollars and more and we believe this is one of the most powerful uh, Blockchain network like in terms of uh, the applications you can develop on it and the partnerships they're announcing Anyway, we will talk about it more in a different video. Today's topic is uh, how do you register your EOS, EOS tokens? So you go to EOS.io, which is the official site. Uh, this is one of the ways. There are multiple ways. Some people have uh, implemented uh, another parallel channel, but I would focus on the official EOS.io website. So if you're in US like me, uh, this is uh, disabled because they don't want uh, uh, to get into trouble with SEC. It's for their own safety. So you may need to use a uh, VPN if you are here, you are visiting US or you are currently accessing the site from US. So let me go back to my VPN net, uh, network. So let me choose Canada right now and I will say connect. So we'll wait for the VPN to get connected so that uh, it doesn't detect my IP address as a US address. Um, again, in terms of uh, the today's, uh, just to clarify, we are talking about registering your ERC20 EOS tokens, which will become invalid uh, after June 1st. So you need to be really uh, paying attention if you own your own, uh, uh, if you own your own keys and if you hold these tokens in your personal wallet. In the meantime, another easy way is, uh, let me look at uh, like Exodus is one wallet, which is a PC based wallet many people use and they have already made it very easy so you can go to this uh, exodus site uh, wallet and you can do a simple one click registration uh, this is for people who are uh, uh, going to uh, be on exodus even after the mainnet launches uh, it's not clear how many airdrops exodus will be supporting similarly binance will support eos swap they have confirmed and uh, more and more exchanges are coming out because eos is uh, one of the top five uh, cryptos right now so you can decide to leave it on these. These are easier ways, if, uh, but I think if you're with us in investing with the difference, we always talk about uh, taking control of your own uh, assets. So let me see how my VPN is doing. I think it's still not connected. So let me try again. We want to make sure that we are connected. Looks like now I'm connected to the Canada server. Now what I need to do is I need to reload the us.io website. This will enable my registration. Again, just to conclude, so if you want, if you're not sure about safety uh, uh, and being able to keep your own private and public keys uh, secure, you should use uh, one of the exchanges like Binance or uh, Exodus as a wallet, which is uh, allowing this swap uh, pretty easily. Uh, but again, this in the, both these cases, you may not be able to get uh, all your coins which are going to come on EOS in terms of airdrop and uh, you will have to export your private key. It can get complicated. So let's go and uh, start the process. So we say get EOS on the USIO and you just need to click on all these uh, disclaimers and you say continue. And in this uh, website, they're talking about how you can buy. So as you know, the EOS ICO is still ongoing, uh, still the mainnet launch till June 1st. So you can uh, keep uh, buying tokens. Uh, but anyway, we are right now, we are not discussing that. We are focusing on registering. So go to register and there's a link here. Please see the register instructions. And you click on this and it takes you down to the register area. So now, we are today going to talk about uh, my ether wallet, which is the most popular one, which we have been using. So the instructions are right here. Let's go one by one. So first thing you need to do is uh, you generate your EOS keys. So when you press this 
generate keys, you will get a pair of public and private key. Now this is the most important step. Uh, this private key which is generated, this is your only for your eyes. Uh, again, I'm not going to use this for my own private key. So if anybody who is trying to note this down for hacking me, don't worry about it. I'm going to re-register this uh, keys all over again. So you can register as many times as you want. You uh, do not have to use whatever key you generated first time. Uh, so you need to understand the public key is something which you will register. The private key is for you to keep it safe. Don't note it down in your PC. Don't note it down in any cloud services. This, if this gets hacked, your EOS is at risk. So this is something which you need to make sure wherever you are accessing the site from, you are using the right EOS site. A lot of spoofing sites are coming up which can lead you to generate a wrong key. So be very sure that you are on the correct site. Uh, make sure that you're using all your antivirus and VPNs in secure mode of operations. Now coming back to what you do with this public and private key. So once you have this pair, now you will go and uh, into your My Ether Wallet. So you go to myetherwallet.com. Again, I would uh, highlight the importance of uh, going to the right site. Never click on any other links. Always type the whole address yourself and maybe bookmark it and uh, make sure it is uh, secure. Like Chrome gives you this uh, confirmation that it is secure, but still, I would still recommend watch very carefully if the spelling is correct and there is no random characters, uh, which can be a spoof site. Now within this, you go to contracts. And uh, now again, I'm just following the instructions here. So you don't have to remember this. So go to contracts, select uh, EOS contribution. So you go to my Ether wallet, you select uh, EOS contribution. Uh, so it will open up this uh, contract, which is the EOS contract on Ethereum network and you press access. Uh, once you go down, this is the read write contract, which you can update. So this uh, will register your keys and you press select a function. You go down and you select uh, register in this. So there is a register right here. You click on that. And this is where you will be entering your public key. Again, very important. You will only copy the public key which you generated. So this is your public key. You're going to copy it and put it here. The typical thing which I suggest is always when you copy paste, you should always look at first three characters and the last three characters and go back and match it. Sometimes what happens is you miss while copying, you may miss a character on either side. Uh, if you are really careful, you actually should make sure all the characters are same, but usually copy paste doesn't uh, make an error. The typical error is when you select like this or when you're selecting like uh, missing out on a character in the end. Now, the next step it says is uh, once you put the public key, you unlock your wallet because still now uh, I'm using Treasure. You can use uh, any other form of accessing my Ether wallet. So you already know how to access your my Ether wallet. I'm assuming. Uh, maybe we will talk about it in another video, or you can look at some uh, guides online. Uh, but I prefer using Treasure because Treasure does not send your private keys to the browser. Uh, so even when you are accessing your wallet, it's only sending a hash, and that makes sure that you are not um, is going to lose uh, your keys to somebody else who is uh, spoofing my Ether wallet site. Of course, whatever transaction you do at this time, that can still use that one time hash and they can uh, still steal some money from you. But anyway, let's go to Treasure. Uh, so if you are already familiar with Treasure, you it will ask you to export your public key. And you say export. And uh, Treasure has uh, a password, a PIN, which uh, you cannot see. It's always randomized every time you are going to access Treasure. So I'm going to enter my PIN based on how it is showing on my hardware wallet. I enter and I can choose my Ethereum wallet. And then once I unlock, now let's go back. Let's me, when you say unlock your wallet and then you say click write. So now we are going to write. 
Now, this is actually you're executing a function. So when you're executing this contract, you are actually doing a transaction on the Ether network. So you have to send some gas. So in this wallet, you need to have some Ethereum. Otherwise, this transaction will not be successful. So make sure you have at least a little bit of Ethereum and you, but you're actually sending zero Ethereum out. So only the transaction fees will be charged, but uh, you need to have something. Uh, in this wallet, I don't think I have anything. Let me see if it's successful. It's going to, again, Treasure is going to validate my transaction. It's going to ask me on the actual hardware key to confirm whether I'm sending this to the right address. And I can go and uh, say confirm. And once I confirm on the hardware key, it asks me whether this is the right data which I'm sending. I say yes. And I'm saying yes, I'm willing to give uh, the gas. All this is happening on the hardware wallet, so you cannot see those uh, confirmations. Uh, so if you're familiar with Treasure, you already know this happens, uh, how it works. But uh, that is the power of Treasure. It's not really sending actual private key to your browser. And now my transaction is ready. So the transaction is generated and you can click yes, I'm sure make transaction. So this is uh, what I'm going to do. Now, I got an error that insufficient funds uh, because I used a wallet which was uh, carrying zero Ethereum for the sake of uh, uh, this demo. But if you have some Ethereum in your wallet, uh, you will get a green bar here and a transaction ID. And if you're familiar uh, with this uh, uh, transaction, you can always click and follow up whether it was successful. Once it is successful, uh, once you send the transaction, you can verify you to go to contracts and uh, you go to you select your contribution you select the keys and uh, then you when you add, uh, enter your public address it will actually give you a option to read your eos keys back and this way just follow the instructions on this eos io website and you will be able to verify whether your keys are registered in addition, if you are on our group, on our Facebook group, you already know I have posted another uh, third party link on how do you very easily validate whether your EOS keys are registered. And uh, that is something uh, you can always use if you don't want to go through all this trouble of verifying. I hope this video was uh, useful for you. We, we are going to soon have more videos on EOS because as you know, this is one of our favorite cryptocurrency and the network which is going to change uh, how we are really doing transactions on blockchain and uh, thanks for watching send us uh, your feedback your comments uh, and share with your friends who are wondering how to re register eos tokens from their my Ether wallet thank you